In this video, I'll be showing you 7 amazing mods that will transform your Skyrim experience into a Hogwarts legacy. Whether you're a fan of Harry Potter or just looking for a new way to play Skyrim, these mods will definitely bring a magical touch to your game. And I would appreciate it very much if you click the subscribe like button before the video starts. So, let's get started. First up, we have MCO, the latest combat mod that replaces Sky SA. With this mod, you can now chain power attacks, perform animated charged attacks and even make non-linear movesets, making combat in Skyrim feel more immersive and intuitive. The same first-person and third-person mechanics had clunky gameplay, but MCO allows you to freely refrain from moving while attacking, just like the Hogwarts Legacy game. However, since the latest version of MCO has poor compatibility with the Hogwarts and Skyrim mod that will be introduced later, it is recommended to use version 1.3.0.2. Next, we have the Hogwarts and Skyrim mod. This mod is not for learning spells, but it adds new combat features based on MCO and Payload Interpreter. With normal attacks, power attacks, charge attacks, and full charge attacks, you'll be able to experience the thrill of battling your enemies with magic. This is the core mode of this video. This mod implements all the skills from Hogwarts Legacy, and the attack animations are also made to feel like Hogwarts. Normal attack, power attack, block, dodge all attack motions are made like Hogwarts Legacy, and this mod allows you to use the skills of Hogwarts Legacy when using the forward, backward, left, right buttons and power attack together. Third, we have the Paraglider mod, inspired by Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. This mod adds a new way to traverse the skies of Skyrim with the Enchanted Witch Broom. A mod like this will add a magical feel to Skyrim and make it feel more like Hogwarts Legacy. Fourth, we have better third-person selection. If you're someone who loves to play Skyrim in third-person, then you'll definitely appreciate this mod. Making it smoother and more intuitive makes third-person Skyrim more like Hogwarts Legacy. The crosshair selection in the game was developed for first-person gameplay, but with BTPS, you'll be able to select objects easily in third-person like Hogwarts Legacy. Fifth, we have True Directional Movement with True HUD. This mod overhauls the third-person gameplay and makes it feel more like Hogwarts Legacy. You can now move and attack in any direction, and the mod even includes a custom target lock component and an animated target reticle widget. In particular, the lock-on function, a special health bar for bosses that can be found in Hogwarts, is a feature supported by this mod. It's fully customizable through the MCM and will make your third-person gameplay much more enjoyable. Sixth, we have the Movement Behavior Overhaul mod. This mod adds enhanced behaviors to your character's movement, allowing for realistic direction transitions, momentum stops, and more. Hogwarts Legacy has momentum stops, and MBO has added this to Skyrim as well, making your Skyrim look more Hogwarts Legacy. Last but not least, we have the Alternate Conversation Camera mod. This mod makes conversations with NPCs much more immersive by zooming in on their faces. The Hogwarts Legacy guides the conversation by alternating the visibility of your character and your interlocutor. The alternate conversation camera also supports this feature, making you feel more like Hogwarts Legacy when you talk to NPCs in Skyrim. And that's it for our 7 mods that make Skyrim a Hogwarts Legacy. These mods will greatly enhance your gameplay experience and bring a new level of immersion to the world of Skyrim. Whether you're a fan of combat, movement, or just want a more immersive conversation system, these mods have got you covered. So make sure to check them out and let us know what you think. Until next time, farewell and happy modding.